Hey guys, I'm FHRC Brony, and if you guys think that this is a tutorial, it's not. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys me making a, a drag tune on a on an AMC Gremlin. Um, normally, I don't really own AMC vehicles other than that Pacer, which was a barn find. But I figured, since I was bored. I wanted to make a drag tune so I got myself this AMC Gremlin X and I'm like okay so why not make a drag tune out of this so yeah so as you can see I'm starting to buy the car now I got the car I'm just gonna take a look around up around it before I do anything with it um, for those of you who don't know, AMC is now a defunct um, brand, they're no longer around. But I did hear that Chrysler had something involved with this, like during their, when they were still around. But I don't know, I'm not really much of, an, uh, of a car geek when it comes to these kind of cars, but I respect, I respect classics though. Why did I close the door? Just leave it open. Let's we'll start it up a little bit, just fire it up, see how it sounds. So, um, I'm currently hearing the stock engine, so it's not, it's not the greatest, but back in the days when this car was made, it was, it sounds pretty good. Same, yeah, typical. No, sp no tachometer, unfortunately. I don't think any any of these old cars had a tachometer. I'm not saying that old these old cars never had a tachometer. I mean, I do know for a fact that the 1969 Camaro and the 70s Mustangs had those um, had a tachometer. So tachometers aren't a new thing. So I'm actually gonna start off by supercharging the the engine the stock engine because although i do like turbochargers but i just want to i like to have a supercharger when it comes to having a v8 engine so um i'm not gonna engine swap this yet so um, but i don't even know where that 7.0 liter v8 comes from though it's not like Forza Horizon 1 where it tells you what kind of engine this car, uh, the, the car is coming from. Like which car the engine is coming from. Just like for example, if I bought a Lamborghini uh, Gallardo in Horizon 1. And if I want to engine swap it to the V12, it would be the, the Aventador. But in this case, like in the newer Forza games, I, I didn't know this since Forza, uh, Forza Motorsport 5. And Forza Motorsport 5... It just tells you what kind of engine it is. That's it. It just tells you the displacement and stuff like that. It doesn't tell you what kind of engine, the, which car that the engine came from. You just gotta uh, listen to it. Anyways, as you guys can see, I am putting a racing hood, not really a hood scoop, but um, but a, like a Forza hood on this thing and put a wing on the back. So, because this one is not gonna be an all wheel drive. Uh, drag tune because I, I don't want to be in that stereotype where everybody all-wheel drive swaps everything just to have a good 0 to 60 time I want to stay out of that stereotype. I want to have a proper two-wheel drive drag car I have this is not the only two-wheel drive drag car that I actually made myself. Um, I Have a Chevy Chevy. <laughs> I can't speak today. I have a Chevrolet El Camino and I have a I believe a 1970s Camaro uh, that's also uh, inspired by Street Outlaws. So if you guys n never watched Street Outlaws, you're probably missing out. Um, aside from Farm Truck and Asian, my favorite uh, uh, Street Outlaw racer is obviously that uh, the Bel Air. So I'm actually upgrading the everything on this car. So just fully upgrade everything and see how it turns out. Brakes. Just, just I'm actually gonna upgrade this to rally because I want some of that compression going on. Um, technically, um, rally springs and dampers are it's just race tires that's been 
has softer springs and softer um, uh, dampening and rebound and stuff like that. So it's just, just technically a race, um, race um, springs and dampers that's just been retuned differently. So I am just going to fully upgrade this engine and see if we can at least hit over 500 horsepower. Because honestly, when you're drag racing, you don't really need a thousand horsepower to actually compete in a drag race. I mean, look at this. I, I don't want to bring on an electric car, but a Tesla Model S can actually do a quarter mile in, a ten, in 10 seconds. And that thing only has like, I don't know, like 600, 700 something horsepower. I don't know. I didn't check, but... It's a lot. It doesn't have a lot of horsepower, I'll tell you that, but it still can do a quarter mile in 10 seconds. I'm talking about a Tesla Model S with the P100D uh, with ludicrous mode. That's pretty darn impressive. But there are some uh, engine-powered cars that can do a decent quarter mile time without the need of uh, 1,000 horsepower. One of them is the Dodge Demon. That has 840 horsepower. I mean, you don't really need a lot of horsepower just to have a... Uh, good drag uh, drag run so um, if it, this doesn't hit fi at least 500 horsepower I need to actually swap out the engine so we actually hit 500 horsepower hmm. let's see how, how much we can bring up to this thing okay um oh um I actually engine swap this. Whoops. Uh, never mind. <laughs> so yeah, I engine swap this. I'm actually um, recording this separately. The, so the audio is just me c just doing commentary. Um, this is not the actual footage of me talking from the from the actual video that you're seeing here. I actually never hooked up my um, audio for this one, so yeah. So, whoopsie, sorry about that. Well, anyways, that's not the point. I'm gonna hop into the car and start it up. Let's hear the engine. Woo, man, I love that sound of V8. You really cannot underestimate the power of American V8s. They sound great. Having too much fun with it, huh? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna get out of the car. Now I'm gonna do some tuning with this thing. So, uh, according to what I watched on YouTube, um, on other tutorials on how to actually make a two-wheel drive drag tune, well, specifically a rear-wheel drive, but I like to generalize two-wheel drive, um, they said that for when it comes to drag tunes, you actually have to make the rear tires uh, with very low pressure and the front tires with high pressure. And then with gearing, final drive all the way down to speed, or all the way up to speed, you want to say that way. And then first gear, you just tune it as low as you can, but not to the point where it's like all the way to the, all the way back. Just good enough, because what's what's happening is. Uh, when when you launch a car, which is basically you press A for the handbrake and then you step on the gas at the same time. Uh, when the when the car is revving up to like maybe a few thousand RPMs, it's going to hold there. And when you let go of the when you let go of the handbrakes with the proper first gear tuning, it's going to not wheel spin as much. So the point is you're not supposed to have too much wheel spin when you're launching a car, a drag tune car in Forza Horizon 3. It's not like, I wish it can be more realistic, you know, like the Hoonigan Bel Air. The Hoonigan Bel Air is really good at making more realistic drag um, um, starts. But I don't have the stupid pack, so I'm, not prob I'm probably not going to bother getting it though. We'll see. So I'm um, like I said, this is not a this is not a tutorial. This is just me uh, doing what I'm doing in a nutshell. So, um, yeah, nothing too crazy. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm actually gonna upgrade the differentials and actually lock them up with 100% of acceleration and deceleration. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm actually gonna leave the leave the festival and I'm gonna head over to Outback. Right now in this video I'm actually at Yara Valley. So I'm gonna go take my butt, my American butt, all the way to the airfield in Outback, Australia. Mm, this may take a while. <laughs> okay. So I am going to actually start a free roam session. And um, like I said, I've actually recorded uh, this video before I even did the audio. So the audio, like I said, the audio is separate. Uh, my voice audio is separate, actually. And I really hated it at this point. At this point, I really hated um, servers at this time. Because it took me like almost 30, almost 30 minutes, I believe. Almost 30 minutes just for me to, to actually start up the session. So I'm going to stop here and actually skip right through it to you guys. So, um, it's already been over 30 minutes of the of actual game time when I was doing this. So what I just did, I just, you know what, screw it, I just had to reset my game. And... Um, I'm just gonna go and adjust it. So yeah, it took me like almost too long just for me to get the session up ready. So, but now it's already ready to go. Um, I'm actually gonna set up my, not set up, but do my drag runs of this one, my time quarter mile drag runs in a separate video. So be on the lookout for that. So what I'm doing here right now is I'm trying to reduce the amount of wheel spin that's going on to this car. I do not want too much wheel spin when if I'm making a drag to or actually for you guys uh, to keep this in mind uh, when you're making a drag tune in Forza Horizon 3 uh, on a two-wheel drive car um, if you don't if you don't like all-wheel drive swapping in a, a car here all you need to do is if you want to get a decent launch on a two-wheel drive all you need to do is just like re reduce the first gear and when you launch uh, make sure it doesn't wheel spin too much. You want a little bit of slippage, but you do not want too much. So as you can see, this one's actually doing pretty well. So that was a, that was a good one. So I have my telemetry on, so you can actually see how fast I'm going. But I'm actually gonna turn around and go back to the start. So I'm actually gonna go do the full runway length and. See so I can show you guys how fast they can go. And by the, like I said before, this one is an engine swap, um, has a V8 swap, so it has a, it's a seven liter V8, so it's a big block engine for a car this small. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready for launch, and then let go of the handbrake, and here we go. Okay, see a little, a little bit of slippage right there. So that's that's fine. I'm gonna retune the 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 rest of the gears in this car in a bit. I was only using like four or five gears in this video at this part. But as you can see, it's like going like 180, 190 miles an hour. Shoot, it's quick. All right. So I'm just gonna retune those gears, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go check out the check out the. Actually, no, I'm actually gonna head back to the starting line. Yeah, this thing is pretty quick. Thing in this, this being a classic muscle car ish hatchback thing, <laughs> um, I just noticed that the AMC Pacer and the Gremlin are weird cars, but 
Uh, no, hey guys, don't get mad at me. I like weird cars. They stand out. There's nothing wrong about having an ugly car. I'm just checking how fast the top speed this thing is. Like, what's the top speed? Shoot! 190 miles. Sorry, 195 miles an hour. Alright, so uh, I'm actually going to go uh, start up here again. Um, on my next video where I do my quarter mile times, my quarter mile buy runs, this is where I'm actually going to set it up at. Next run, so uh, we can actually reach up to a faster top speed. I think we just like hit 180 miles an hour earlier. Ninety miles an hour, and there I go. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for now. Um, my next video will be me doing my quarter mile by runs. So yeah, see you guys in the next video.